didn't see myself falling in love with a man, but here I am in love with Dan Levy and the Cuomo brothers and John King. All right, that's a whole other video. Hi guys, it's already 4, 45. Look at my beautiful Dan Levy. So I was gonna make the reacting to LGBTQ couples on TV, but I made French toast this morning <laughs> and my stomach has been killing me and I, I seriously like have not gotten off the couch and I just like wanted to be in comfy clothes because I just didn't feel well. Um, I didn't post it on my Instagram because I was embarrassed by how much syrup I put on it and now that kind of makes sense. That's why my stomach hurts. But <laughs> that's besides the point. So I had, I, I like wanted to do things today and I was like, I never have things to do in the house. So let me do it. I was talking on my Instagram story last night about shaving things. Um, I shave my fingers and my toes. I'm looking, watching vlogs. I shave my fingers and my toes and so many people shave their toes, but not a lot of people, like almost no one, shaves their fingers. So I was like, all right, whatever. And then I put on the nice shave to my face or like dermaplane my face. Um, people were like so confused by that. So I am going to dermaplane my face tonight because it actually is perfect because I was gonna put on makeup for the reaction video. It actually helps with acne and smooths out, um, like gets, gets rid of the peach fuzz so your makeup goes on a lot better. So I'm gonna do that tonight. And then I had this whole phenomenon on my Instagram story about ranch dressing because I have french fries in my freezer and chicken nuggets and I wanna dip it in ranch. And that is not the same as Hidden Valley. The ranch that you put on lettuce and dip raw vegetables in is not like the ranch that you get at McDonald's to like dip fried things in. Or like if you get onion rings or french fries at a restaurant, like. Okay, I rest my case for now. I got I was thrilled by the amount of uh, people who messaged me equally as passionate about this as I am. And there was a common trend of people saying, get the ranch from Hidden Valley, but the seasoning mix, and then it depends on what you mix it with. So a lot of people said sour cream. So I got a Target delivery, what else is new? That's gonna come between six and seven, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to dermaplane my face. I'm going to make my own ranch dressing. I also am going to make cheeseburgers tonight. I have, like, um, what do I have? Ground beef in the fridge. That's what I have. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I wanted to show you guys the hat that I got from TJ Maxx. Let me tell you something. It's my favorite hat, like, I've ever gotten. All right, it was $9.99. Okay, this is me, gorgeous. This is the hat. It's like, it has distressing, this lighting makes it look kind of weird, but hey, don't focus on me, focus on the hat. Okay, here we are. This is like a charcoal gray. It has like the distressing, obviously the stitched rainbow, and I love it. It has the buckle in the back. So you can adjust it. I guess I'll come back on when my Target groceries get delivered. It's just really pretty outside right now. On a neighbor. See him cooking? Such a freak. Oh my gosh, look. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures, actually. If you guys think I just take one picture and I'm done, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you guys my portable charger that I'm obsessed with, but first, look at this new candle that I got. I love it. It's I got it from TJ Maxx, obviously. Mm. This apartment is like not super large compared to like a freaking house. 
but I can't find it. And for some reason, things always go missing. So I need to find it for you guys though, because it is so worth mentioning. It charges things the fastest I've ever seen any charger charge. Also, look at this. <laughs> um, that's foreshadowing the next like six weeks of my life. I'm so excited about that. Um, yeah, that's a little project slash job coming up. Um, of oh, the charger. Literally, I found it. Okay. Hang on, let me put this down. All right, and I got another recommended portable charger to compare. They don't even compare. Um, it's heavy, not gonna lie. So is the other one. All portable chargers, like if it's good, it's gonna be heavy. This is like the, oh wait, let me give you my phone for size reference. Okay. The coolest part about this, besides how fast it charges, um, one of the coolest parts is that it has like the cord attached so a lot of the times portable chargers use like the cape like the cable cord and it's just long and like you're attached and whatever this has like a little thing you just pop it open and your phone just charges through that and i use this on my couch because the like the cord isn't so close you just click the side button then it turns on. Dan Levy. Um, yeah. Highly recommend. I'll put the link in my, um, in the description below. All right, so here's my onion, all chopped. I already had some oil heating in the pan, but I have it really low, it's only on three. Because I don't want them to burn, I just want them to cook and get really soft. Let me get the rest of that. All right, right now this is what the beef looks like. And then I put Worcestershire in the pan when I cook them. That's where that comes in. And I also have my fast food fries from All Right. I'm going to put in. All right, guys, I already did the mixing part on my Instagram story. I'm still talking to my Instagram story, but I'm going to put my camera here so you guys can see. All right. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's too sour. But we're on to something here. Tastes like Cool Ranch Doritos, which makes sense. Um, how do I make it not super sour? Target didn't have buttermilk. If I'm eating it like this, I must like it. That's a good sign. Here goes nothing. Okay, so we just haven't perfected it yet, but I'm like really happy with the results. Thank you so much to everybody who told me this it tastes like a, a dip that you would get to dip fried food in not Hidden Valley um, I think the consistency has a lot to do with it but we're gonna we are gonna perfect it I'm gonna make my um, cheeseburgers now mmm I wish you guys could smell it it smells so good those fries well here's the finished product guys I think I did a pretty good job I finished it off in the oven because it was cooking on the outside too much this is for tomorrow um, I'm happy with it oh killed it Maddie mm. I'm gonna go eat this so fast. This is the problem I run into every single time I wanna film in my bathroom. This angle is going to kill me and when I edit this, I'm gonna say I can't fucking do it with the double chin, but that's just the angle. And that's how you're gonna fit in my bathroom. So we're gonna go with it. First step when it comes to dermaplaning is washing your face really, really well. Um, no moisturizer, cause then you just like, it's like, product on your face you just wash it clean and then I'll show you so hang on let me do that now's a good time to mention I forgot that you should exfoliate your skin as well 
so I just used this daily scrub and then I got these from Target they were so cheap I it was a pack of two for like four dollars you stick it in between your fingers and it's like a silicone whatever so this is what I use it's Chic silk touch up like little blades um first things first is to take rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball and clean the razor I use it comes with three I use a razor probably two or three times before I just replace it those are cheap too I forgot the price but they're cheap so this is what it looks like <clears throat> it's not gonna focus you guys get the point um okay so you just take rubbing alcohol and you wipe down the blade this is gonna be difficult I think I'm gonna show you guys here. I'm gonna put her name here, Skin by Blair. I learned by watching her tutorials on her highlights. She's really great um, and she explains it really well. So I'm gonna put her Instagram here for like a tutorial. Don't follow my, t I'm just showing you how I do it. Um, don't use me as a tutorial. Like go to Skin by Blair, okay? Um, okay, so you basically just start like this angle down and then you just like go for it little by little. Um, I kind of hold my skin like this. Just go down and let me show you guys. Do you see that? That's literally peach fuzz coming off of your face. <laughs> I just put it in the sink and then I wash it down the drain. Um, so can you imagine like you're putting your makeup on and like that's stopping it from getting on your skin. So when you're done with this, your skin is like a fucking baby butt. Like it is so soft. Um, so yeah, you just continue. Oh, see more just fell. I mean, it's crazy what happens. Um, yeah, and then you just keep it at an angle and you just go down. See, now I got some like hair on here. So I'm gonna go back in with another cotton ball and wipe it down. And then you just literally keep going. So I'm gonna speed this up because you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. I also do it to perfect my eyebrows because I don't do anything to them. And then, um, yeah. Wait, I have to show you guys this side because the first one like that I showed you, it's always like so much stuff comes off. I like, I like love it. It's like kind of gross, but I like And by so much stuff, I mean, oh my god, oh my god, this is a crazy one, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that! If you're looking at this, like, I don't have that on my face. Bitch, you are so wrong. <laughs> I was like, I don't have a hairy face. You would be so shocked. It's, and I have dark hair. Like, if you have light hair, just try doing this. I'll show you my sink afterwards. I also do right here. But be careful, because if you go like this, you're gonna shave off here. So you kind of have to go in at an angle so you don't hit your eyebrows. It all just takes practice. I've been doing this for a while now. Are you ready for the big reveal? Um. I'm just gonna preface this by saying, if you think this is gross, don't fucking judge me. One, fuck you. <laughs> Two, go try it. Because if you do it correctly, you are gonna be shocked by the results. So, maybe it's been two months since I've done it. It's been a while, guys. This is what my sink looks like, guys. So I'm gonna wash my face after. And washing your face after is the best feeling because it's super smooth and then I'm gonna put on like my hyaluronic acid serum and I'm gonna put on my moisturizer. It's just gonna be like baby fresh face. All right, catch you on the flip side. The way your moisturizer goes on after you dermaplane your face is fucking 
life-changing. I mean, you can fucking see how shiny my face is. You can see the reflection of the TV on my face. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna end this vlog right here. This was fun, super um, chill and spontaneous. It is now 8.26, so I've been on, I've only been vlogging for like four hours, but I have like a lot of footage. So this is good. Let me know if I should like be doing more because if I filled the time in four hours, then I guess I could do a vlog every day, but that's a lot. Um, but I'm down to do it because I still have like a week until I start my job. Oh, and I'm going upstate this weekend. So you know that there's going to be another family vlog. All right, that's all. What do I want to say? Subscribe to my channel, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below what you want to see. Come say hi. Follow me on Instagram at Maddie Hollander. You can DM me there. Um, and yeah, roll that dope ass outro. <laughs>